So I've just got back from Bunnings buying four chairs for my new wooden table that I built because my wife doesn't think I'll ever get around to making any. So while I was there, I bought myself a treat. I'm always putting earphones in my earmuffs and they fall out of your ears and it's just a pain in the bum but I, I like listening to audio books and music while I'm working and help block out traffic and neighbours dogs and that sort of thing. Um, so I treated myself to a pair of these. Now these are low end, sort of generic branded, it's Tactics brand, puts their name on all sorts of things at hardware stores all around the world and you might recognise the box and have a different name there, there's a few different ones around. Anyway, this is the brand that Bunnings has. They are, of course, made in China. Um, let's have a look at how they go. See, the, a good version of these, you know, 3M ones and stuff like that in New Zealand can cost hundreds. You know, you can pay up to $1,000 for a good pair of earmuffs with radios and stuff in, which is just bloody ridiculous. These were 70 New Zealand dollars, which is, I don't know, about 40 US. Right, so first up, they come in quite a nice sturdy box, and it's got this little tag here, and it opens up like so, which is good when you're in the store, because you can see them, you can see all the details without having to open it up and stuff everything, and the next poor bugger comes along and the box is all buggered, so it's got a magnet latch on it and everything, two magnets, one there, one there, unbelievable, so basically it's got Bluetooth, it will you can answer your phone on it. So with the Bluetooth, you can listen to your music on your, you know, from your phone, that sort of thing. But also you can answer calls. There's a button on the side for answering calls. Button like like that. Um, and you can also push a button that will let you hear all the ambient sounds around you. So when someone comes over to talk to you, you don't have to take your earmuffs off. Just push that, and basically it acts as if the earmuffs aren't there, which is very handy. Uh, it's got FM radio as well, built-in battery, yeah, it's only rated for 26 decibel, but with the music and stuff going on, it shouldn't be too bad, I mean, better earmuffs, you know, would be another 10 decibels more than that. Um, it's going to be hard for me to tell you, you know, to show you how these work, seeing as you're not going to be able to get inside my head to listen to them. But, I can, I'll have a play with them over the next week or so. And I'll tell you just how good they are. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's a nice little... <laughs> spent a lot of money on the box. It's a very nice box. And look, this has got... This is like felt. Haven't seen one of these felt-covered plasticky things for years. It's all very solid and... It comes with a little... Thing with a wire in here of some sort. What have we got? Charging wire, presumably. Oh, there's something else in there. Oh, it's the battery. Oh, okay, so it is a removable battery. That's good. So it's just like a cell phone battery there. That's very good because I was worried about the longevity of the the earmuffs after the battery. You know, so many things that have built-in batteries you can't get to to replace them. Um, but having a, a battery like that, that's very good. Um, so it also comes with the charging lead, which is your standard USB to sort of micro USB that you put on your on your phone. And a 3.5 male to male jack. Okay, they they feel quite quite nice. It feels feels nice. Of course, the proof is put them on your head. This is all rubberized, so not hard plastic. It's rubber, so that's quite good. Simple adjustments on there. But it looks like this side pops off. Should really read the instructions, but yeah, it just pops off there. It pops in easy enough. No. Oh yeah, we've got a light there. I think she needs charging. Yeah. BT, presumably, battery a bit flat. Anyway, I'll give it a charge, test it out over the next week or two, and I'll let you know if it's any bloody good or not. So far it doesn't look too bad, but sound quality might be a bit rubbish. 
We'll find out for the price though. I mean, I'm mostly going to listen to audio books and stuff. The quality of the audio doesn't have to be that good. <laughs> You've got saws and things going in the background, so it's not like you're listening, you want high fidelity stuff. Anyway, I'll have a play and I'll let you know. So here we go again, take two. Uh, just got back from Bunnings with another pair of these because the first pair was the rubbish. So I checked these ones in the car park before I left um, and they seem to be okay. The problem with the first pair was the Bluetooth. Um, the Bluetooth, sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. It would always say it was connected but it would just be crackly as all hell. You couldn't hear what the hell you were trying to listen to. Um, and you turn it on and off and fiddle around and eventually it would work and then I'd receive a text or something and it would crap out and stop working and it was just crazy. So I had a bit of a play with this pair in the car park and they seem okay at the moment but it does the same thing, they'll be going straight back and I'll be getting my money back. Not a good start. Anyway, I'll let you know how this pair goes. Oh, I'm in the middle of um, testing one of these Evolution... Um, multi-cut saws, steel and wood and plastic and everything on the one thing and hopefully these will block them out just remember you're not going to be able to throw these around like you do your ordinary emails as they've got knobs and buttons and screens and things on them which could easily get damaged so you're going to have to take a bit more care with them so I've been wearing them for a couple of weeks now and I've been trying to keep them clean as possible. A little bit dusty, but not too bad. Um, just in case I had to return them again, if there was anything wrong with them. But this pair has been perfect, so happy with that. I just must have got a dud one to begin with. Hopefully this, you know, I wanted to leave it a couple of weeks just to make sure that the same problem didn't occur in this one. And hopefully it never will. So I'll go over some of the features with you now that I didn't talk about before. Um, when you turn it on, it says hello to you, which is cute. I think I'm going to move somewhere that's a little bit quieter, the traffic's a bit shit. Whew, she's a right old mess on the bench here at the moment. So, like I was saying, she says hello to you when you turn her on. Hey. Now BT <laughs> is Bluetooth, not bloody battery like I said at the beginning of the video. And BC Bluetooth connected, and you've got the little Bluetooth logo up top there. So it's just connected to the phone that's in my pocket. When the Bluetooth's on, you've got this blue flashing light here. Don't know why you need a blue flashing light somewhere you can't see it while you've got the headphones on, but anyway. And when you turn the earmuffs on with the dial, this is the on off switch and volume. So when you turn it on, you'll get a nice young lady saying this. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. And then when your Bluetooth connects, she'll say the this. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. And when you push this button, she will say this. FM tuner. So that's quite cool. You know what you're doing without having to take them off and look at the damn things. So that noise is just the dust extractor winding down. Just done a few cuts just to see the sound difference. So I've, I wore these with nothing turned on just as earmuffs. Um, did three cuts and then put the old 3M Peltor um, been around the block this pair. Class 5 earmuffs on just to compare these sort of standard sort of ones everyone uses. Um, and yeah, I was quite surprised. These were actually better blocked out more noise and when you've got audio going in them it sort of seems to block it out even more so goodbye now back to the features of these um, they've got radio built in the radio reception's not bad uh, I haven't used it the radio all that much I've been using the Bluetooth because I wanted to make sure that it was not going to crap out of me and if I've got my phone with me which I always do I'm going to be listening to the the music on that and the audio on that rather than listening to the radio anyway so I won't use the radio much to be honest but anyway you've got the radio mode button here so you press that changes between the radio and the Bluetooth um, and then you've got up and down here which will go up and down through channels it sort of automatically presets them when you first turn it on 
um, goes through, finds all the channels, presets them, and then you can just whack through these up and down through the different stations. Which is quite good. Um, coolest feature, I reckon, is this button, which will answer your phone when you are when you've got the Bluetooth on and your phone's in your pocket, you can just whack that button while you're working away and you can all of a sudden talk to whoever's on your phone and the lady that you heard just before will tell you whose number it is. She won't actually say the person's name, which is a little annoying. She's, she just reads out the number. So, yeah. <laughs> Unless you know the person's number, then it can be a bit tricky to know who it is before you push that button, but anyway. Um, at least she tells you the number, it's better than nothing I suppose. But the other cool feature about this button is you press that while you're doing whatever, listening to the radio, listening to your Bluetooth, hold that button down for a few seconds and then you get the ambient sound around you. So basically it sounds like you've got hearing aids in. All of a sudden you can hear birds everywhere and, <laughs> and when a loud bang or something happens you nearly shit yourself. So that that's really cool. You you know you've got them all. You got earmuffs on, but you can hear better than you normally can. It's quite spooky, um, but it is hard to tell what direction noises are coming from. And there's the um, the hole there where you, I don't know whether it's what you call it microphone speaker. And it's not really any of those things. Um, where the sound goes in. Um, there's a microphone on here. I think that hole, small hole there, is probably the microphone. You've got your 3.5 millimeter jack point there. I haven't tried that. Um, I've only used that if the Bluetooth failed for whatever reason, which hopefully it won't do for some time yet. So like I said earlier, this is all rubberized, which is quite nice. They're, they're fairly comfortable. They're, these are these are these are quite nice. But on the comfort front, that is the one side I'm not 100% happy with, and that is. See these, um, the insides are really close. They don't have the big deep cave like you'd get in a um, pair of earmuffs like this, where you've got a big hole where you, you know, your ears can sit and there's sort of ooh, a good inch and a half deep, sort of 40 mil or something. Um, whereas these ones are very close. So, if you've got a big ear, like I obviously seem to have, then this could get a bit uncomfortable, because it's got padding there, but then underneath that it's solid and hard where the speakers are. Um, my left ear seems to get sore after a couple of hours wearing them. It sort of pushes against part of my ear. I only seems to do it on the left side, and I turn the earmuffs around, it still only does the left side, so it must be my freaking head. Anyway, overall, yeah, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. The sound quality, um, when you have it full volume, it's a little tiny bit iffy, not too bad. Um, I've been listening to audiobooks a lot, and they sound a bit sort of grainy when you're up the top, and when you've got it full volume listening to the outside world, it can be a little sort of staticky sounding. But overall, very impressed which just pops in and out easily, the cover just pops on and off, uh, it's an 800 milliamp 3.7 watt battery, it's 3.7 volt I mean, so yeah easily replaceable, they're dirt cheap if, if and when it dies. So overall as long as it keeps working the way it's working I am, yeah I'm quite impressed, I will be using these on a daily basis until such time as they die. If they die too soon, I'll give you an update. Anyway, that's the Tactics Bluetooth Hearing Protection Earmuffs. Very cool. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah blah blah. You know, down there, whatever. See you later.